Now that we've created our own custom library, what we want to do is we want to put things in it. And the way you put things in your custom library is to, first of all, go to the normal library you might use, frame or frameless cabinets or closets. And then you just start doing regular designs. Keep in mind, you can go to old jobs that you've done in the past and still save items that you've done in the past as items in your library without having to put them back up. And uh, let me show you how to do that. What we're going to do is let's just create a scenario where uh, under entertainment, we're just going to put something that has, let's say, uh, something with drawers or something of that nature. And let's say we've got this unit here. And let's say for argument's sake, it doesn't have a, you know, an actual uh, a door on this opening. Well, what we might want to do is just go in here and maybe it's, it's wide open. Let's say that it has no shelves in it. So let's just go to the number of mid shelves. Let's set it to zero. We'll click OK. But if we hold the control key and just click on that door, we can take the door off of that opening. I can come in here, I can change the opening height, you know, maybe go pairs of doors, make this a little wider. And we, we can change all sorts of things. I'm just going to control key off that again. So let's say this is something we do a lot of with an open space that you just want to default. Now, I could right mouse click on it to activate it, to, to basically say I want to make a copy of it. So I can do that by right mouse clicking. It means that we're about to do something with it. Now I can come over here and come to my custom library and because I've right mouse clicked over here I can right mouse click over here and save it as a custom unit and I can call this my you know tall you know door open below three drawer I, I don't know whatever you want to do so and we can give it a custom name which just just means that if it lists out it would give it this name on the list as far as for a packing list, that kind of thing. Or it could use the standard name, which is built into the program. So we'll click OK. I like to use the custom name. Now notice when I hold my mouse key down, it just comes up. It takes me two seconds to put that unit back up. And you can do this with anything. So we could come in here and let's say create another item here. Let's go back to our regular uh, design library. And let's come down to entertainment. And we're just going to go in here and maybe come down to some base cabinets we'll go no drawer we'll just drag that in there click OK and then I'm gonna go with a wall cabinet that's you know, I don't know it just got an arch on it or something like that we will just drag it in there click OK now we could change the height of this we could drag it off the floor I mean there's all sorts of things we can do but the bottom line is create what you want first and then say, you know, I do that a lot. Why don't I save that as, as a menu choice for the future because I like what it looks like and I may use it later on. Now we could go to molding. We could add molding. Just come in here and change molding in this room. We could, you know, go ahead and add doors. Go to add handles and hinges. And, you know, we could just put things up the way we want. At that point, you know, maybe change these to glass doors. I'm just holding the control key down and clicking on it until I get the doors I want. Now, if I select by right mouse clicking on all these items, I'm saying now to make this one item as a menu choice. So let's go back to your custom library, right mouse click, save as custom unit, and we'll call it entertainment, you know, configuration one or whatever we want to call it. Click OK. Now that's a menu choice. And you can see that the benefit to this is going to be just huge as far as time saved on design process and, and having to put things up. Now you can create another section in here called islands. You could have something for, let's say, closets. And at that point, have certain configurations you like all the time. Just be aware, you can modify this, rearrange it. You can't really make too many mistakes in here. You can always correct them. We can show you how also by a phone call.